Welcome. In this video, we'll introduce you to Broker Edition for Skyslope Forms. This video is intended for managing brokers and brokerage administrators. If you're a real estate agent looking to learn more about Skyslope Forms, check out the resources at support.skyslope.com. This video will start with an overview of Broker Edition. We'll then highlight each of the features included in Broker Edition, and finally, we'll provide you with some steps to get started. So what is Broker Edition? Broker Edition provides an enhanced feature set to users within Skyslope Forms, giving managing brokers control and simplifying the agent workflow. Broker Edition consists of the following four main features. Broker View and File Sharing, broker libraries, broker templates, and broker clauses. We'll cover each of these in detail in a few moments. I'd also like to note here that broker addition is an additional cost for brokerages, unless provided as a member or subscriber benefit by your local realtor association or NLS. At the end of this video, we'll provide you with ways to get in touch with Skyslope's customer success team who can discuss options and help you set up Broker Edition. Let's start with Broker View, also known as File Sharing. File Sharing allows managing brokers, brokerage administrators, and transaction coordinators to view their agents' forms files or work on behalf of agents within Skyslope Forms. Managing brokers can also enable administrator access for brokerage admin team members to manage file sharing configurations. Managing brokers and selected admin can also create groups of users and configure access at the group level. Let's navigate into an administrator account in Skyslope Forms to see this in action. To start managing file sharing for your brokerage, Click your name in the upper right, then select Brokerage Management. If you don't see the Brokerage Management option in your Forms account, that means your managing broker has not granted you access yet. If you need access to the Brokerage Management page to help manage file sharing, please reach out to your managing broker. At the top, you'll notice two tabs, People and Groups. Under the People tab, you'll see a list of all active users under your brokerage. You can search for a particular individual using the search bar at the top. You can search by name or email or filter by existing groups. If you currently have access to the brokerage management section in Skyslope Forms, you can grant various levels of permissions to other administrators as well. On the People tab, simply find the individual to whom you'd like to grant permissions, then click the Overflow menu on the right. In the dropdown, you'll see various types of permissions you can grant this user. Let's take a look at each of these options. The default setting is Basic User. This means the user does not have any special permissions. This would typically be the setting for most agents within your brokerage. The highest level of permissions is Forms Administrator. Forms Administrators can manage broker templates, broker clauses, and the users in groups for your brokerage. Forms Managers can also manage broker templates and broker clauses. However, they do not have permission to manage users and groups. If you want a user to manage only one of the following categories, clauses, templates, or users and groups, you can grant them manager status for just one of these. Those roles are called Forms Clause Manager, Forms Template Manager, or People Manager, respectively. After assigning permissions to a user, you can return to the People tab anytime to change their permission settings. Next, let's check out the Groups tab. Here, you'll see all the groups that have already been created for the brokerage. 
If you want to grant a particular person file sharing access for a specific group of users within Skyslope Forms, you'll need to create a group, place those users into the group, and then grant access to that particular individual. For example, I have a transaction coordinator who needs access to files for three agents, so I'll start by creating a new group. First, click Create New Group. Then name your group using any convention you prefer. We recommend selecting a name that easily identifies the group's function. Perhaps the transaction coordinator's name, the team name, or the region. I'll name this group and click Create. You'll then add the people that need to be assigned to this group. In my case, I'll add the transaction coordinator and her three agents. On the next page, we'll see the list of users we've added to this group. Note that you can add or remove users from this group anytime. Now I'll need to grant Kira access to this group, so I'll open the overflow menu on the right, then select Allow Group File Management. Kira now has file access for the other three users in this group and can start creating and managing forms files and envelopes on their behalf. Notice the people icon that now appears next to the transaction coordinator's name. This icon indicates that this person has group file management access. If you no longer wish for this person to have group file management access, simply open the overflow menu on the right, then select revoke group file management. Now let's discuss broker libraries. As part of Broker Edition, you can create broker libraries with custom forms for your agents to use. The Skyslope product team can map your custom forms to be fillable and interact with the Skyslope forms file in the same way that forms from association and MLS libraries do. Broker libraries streamline the agent's workflow by eliminating the need to go to multiple platforms to compile various forms for their clients. As you can see in the screenshot on the right, broker libraries appear in your agent's accounts right alongside their regional and local association and NLS libraries. At the end of the video, we'll provide you with ways to get in touch with the Skyslope customer success team who can assist you with setting up broker libraries. Next, let's talk about broker templates. Broker templates are collections of forms with pre-populated data that allow agents to quickly prepare listings or write offers. Templates reduce repetitive data entry and end up saving your agent's time. Broker templates can also help you increase the usage of any forms you include in your broker library, as you can bundle forms together to help your agents get set up quickly. Let's navigate back to my administrator account so we can see these templates in action in Skyslope Forms. First, navigate to the Templates tab at the top. You'll notice the Forms templates available in your account are split into two sections. Personal templates are at the top and brokerage templates are at the bottom. Let's create a new brokerage template together. Click the Create Template button in the upper right and then select the type of template you'd like to create. Specifying the template type ensures that only applicable templates appear when creating a forms file of that representation type. For example, in today's demo, I'll go with the seller type, which means this template will only be available for files with seller representation. On the next page, you'll name your template and then you'll be asked whether this will be a brokerage template. Toggle to yes, and you can then choose the audience with whom you'd like to share this template. Keep the box checked next to share with everyone in my brokerage to share this template brokerage-wide. Alternatively, 
you can choose a specific region to limit this template to, and you can even share this template with a specific group. If you select Yes to share with a group, the next page will ask you to specify the group or groups. On the next page, you'll select the forms you'd like to include in the template. You can see under this library filter that you'll have access to both association or MLS libraries and your broker library. I work in California, so I'll select the listing agreement from the California library and an affiliate business agreement from my broker library, but this process will be the same regardless of your region. After adding the desired forms, you can fill in the forms with any information you'd like to have automatically populate. In the lower left, you have the option to add additional forms from your libraries or upload external documents from your device to be included in this template. Note that only forms from the forms libraries are fillable in Skyslope forms. Documents uploaded directly from your device will not be fillable. In the lower right, you'll have two options for saving this template. Clicking the Save Template option on the left will save this template as a draft. Clicking the Save and Share button on the right essentially publishes the template for your agents to use. For this example, we'll go ahead and share this template. After saving the template, you'll be brought back to the Templates tab. Now, under the Brokerage Templates section, we can see the template we just created. Since we published this template, it's labeled as new. If we had saved this template as a draft, it would be labeled accordingly. You can also make changes to this template anytime using the options in the overflow menu on the right. Finally, let's take a look at broker clauses. Broker clauses help agents save time and make fewer errors on their forms. They consist of preset verbiage determined by the brokerage that agents can apply to their forms. Additionally, agents can search, filter, and even apply multiple clauses to a form simultaneously. Let's take a look at broker clauses in action. When you click into a multi line text field, you'll see the Add Clauses button appear. In this menu, you can filter or search for a particular clause. Notice these two options on the filter line. You can filter by category or by clause library. If you belong to an association or NLS whose library includes standard clauses, you'll have access to those clauses alongside your broker clauses, and you can also filter by those libraries. If you select the eye icon on the right, you can expand the preview of this clause to view all the verbiage contained in the clause. To add clauses to your forms, select the check mark next to each desired clause on the left and click Add Clauses in the lower right. Once the clauses are applied to the form, you can edit the applied text, including dates, times, and other information specific to the property. We hope you enjoyed learning about all the benefits of Skyslope Forms Broker Edition. To learn more or get started, please click the link in the video description, fill out some brief information on the form, and the Skyslope team will reach out to you directly. Happy Skysloping!